Yesterday, World of Warcraft history was made when a brand new spec, Augmentation, was added to the game. Not only is this the first time we've ever seen a new spec added to the game this way, but Augmentation is also a support class that enhances its allies' abilities with its rotation. Will this new spec be a monster in PvP? Spoilers, Augmentation is fucking insane. And it heals for too much. Holy shit, he took so much damage! Dude, what did you do? Ah! Turns out giving a Windwalker 10% versatility makes him do big borst. Big damn. Oh, I got him! It's gonna hit so hard! In three! Oh, you- oh. Alright, there we go! Dude, look at my damage! I did more damage than the warrior! Come on! Like, I did more damage than the warrior, bro! <laughs> Universe wants to know the buffs that I'm giving him, so this is actually really good. I'm, I'm glad he asked this because I can show you guys, okay? So first buff I'm gonna give you, this is the most, the easiest one. The easiest buff I'm gonna give you is when I vert it and embrace you. Um, when I vert it and embrace you, you get a speed boost. I can't show you because I'm in this area, but you get a speed boost. Um, the next thing, this is the the, the easiest, is uh, something called pre-science. You use pre-science, and I basically just give you crit. Pretty sure. Where is it? I don't know why it didn't give you crit. I think it tried to buff someone else. Should give you crit. Why isn't it giving you crit? Yeah, there you go. You get 3% crit from pre-science. And also, when you have pre-science, um, you have a chance to duplicate your damage. So, yeah, you can duplicate your damage when I use pre sign This is a really short buff, so you want to make sure you're using this as much as possible. And that way, when you attack, you have a chance to duplicate your damage, which is really cool. Okay? Uh, the next thing, and the most important thing, is Ebon Might. So when I use Ebon Might, this is when you go fucking crazy. Look at, look at that. So y you are getting your 1,500 main stat. You get 1,500 main stat from that. Which is pretty crazy. Another thing, when I use Fire Breath offensively, Fire Breath grants the Inferno's blessing for eight seconds to you and your allies, affecting Ebon Might. Affected by Ebon Might. Yeah, so if I Ebon Might, um, and then I use my Fire Breath, it actually gives you a big buff. Um, in addition to that, just by using my Empowered spells, you get bonus versatility as well. So come here. Hit these target dummies if you can. I want to show you. I want to show you what it looks like. Yeah, so... Hit the target dummies. I'm gonna go for an Ebon Might. Then, but now you're like fully ramped. You have Inferno's Blessing, you have Pre-Science, and you have Ebon Might. And then you also have the bonus versatility. So that's when you're gonna go crazy. That's why your DPS is so crazy. Those, those are the buffs you're kind of bringing to the table. I know it's not Pre-Science, it's like Prescience or something like that, but I, I'm gonna keep calling it Pre-Science because I think it's hilarious. Damn, kick this guy. Russians. Sweep the Paladin. Russians again. Dead. Oh my god, we're fucking pumping, bro. Dude, this spec is actually fun. I feel like I'm owning, but I also feel like it's broken, so... Uh. 
popping up. Farming, bro. Two thousand agility. It's just like, I don't know. It seems so crazy, bro. I guess my damage was less than the Destro Warlock, but I guess I also buffed my Windwalker Monk to just be a literal god. It seems so crazy because it is. <laughs> what are your guys' thoughts on it so far? Does it look good? Does it look bad? Like 2,000 agility is more than a conquest badge. It's fine. Casting up in might for a buff. Running in. Crescents for a buff. Casting upheaval. Moving in. They're going me. Pick the mage. Buffing him up, big damn. Running for a buff, having mites up now. Russians is up. Fine with me. I'll trinket. Yellow. Uh, maybe not a good trinket. I'll heal him up a bit. Big dam. Big dam. Heaven might. Big dam. Big dam. Big dam. Big dam. <laughs> yeah, that's right. this I hate this Good job shutting me down. Uh. 
I was dead. Nice. Dude, so we're 2200 with no comms, and I have one hour played or something like that. Oh, I don't think we've lost a single game yet. The Paladin is also new to Paladin. Wait, really? Your damage plus Windwalker is more than the other two DPS every game? Oh yeah, of course. Not even close. I mean, Interverse did as much damage as the Hunter and the Feral combined. Like, my Windwalker did as much damage as the Hunter and Feral combined. And then times 1.2. Is Windwalker OP or is it Augmentation? Well, I think Windwalker is good. But I also think, like... Yeah, I don't know. When I, like, my, in my honest opinion, what I think is going to happen is I feel like this combo of Paladin Augmentation is going to be really good. And you can plug it with, like, an Unholy Death Knight, uh, Demon Hunter, Windwalker, Warrior. Like, I think all of those will be good. Have you guys lost a game yet? Uh, actually, don't think we've lost a single game. Let's take a look. We've actually won every game. Like, we literally just started playing, and apparently this is the first week this Paladin has played as well. And we've won 100% of our games. Which is, uh, pretty... Pretty cool, I guess. Alright, so our, uh, our win... <laughs> we, we won 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We went 13 and 0.